thank God. You're right. I was so worried. <laughs> oh, yeah. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? Yeah, it came from shame. From helplessness. From rage. Rage? It's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. Why don't you tell me something about this place? It, it's the day room. You used to play here. <laughs> With Richard? Is he one of your friends? Uh, no. But he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he...? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he, he became hollow, like a puppet. He... Oh, I remember. Marianne, I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No, don't tell them. Well, it, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No! No, Marianne! Is that not ever again? Why did you... bring me here? It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see. With my own eyes. It was really cool seeing the reality or not reality but the the normal world version of events and the ball being pristine and just floating in midair while sadness was holding it in the other world yeah, it's not it's not like one world is real and the other is fake not at all it's very real it's all real Richard? Are you there? A sheet of music. Well, at least part of it. Tomas. I've always been stunned by the depth and complexity of his imagination. Mesmerized by the surreal dreamscapes his mind could we uh, would weave. The way he described them with every minute detail it was as if he had actually witnessed all of it. As if something or someone pulled the veil and allowed him a peek beyond the edges of our reality. An angel? A demon? Is there really a difference? I know it didn't matter to me, as his visions came alive on my canvas. Some would say I used the boy to fuel my waning creativity, but how could I not? To let this unique perspective, this bottomless well of inspiration, go to waste, that would be an unforgivable sin.
Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what Sadness said? This game is so good looking. Like, literally, this looks like a pre rendered cutscene to me. On the, um, in the normal reality, on the top anyway. Just how the lighting interacts with all those bushes and everything, and oh, God. In the other reality, this looks like a pile of flesh. Don't like that. I remember the first time I met him. Working a simple factory job. Still more of a boy than a man. Wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder, like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising. Of what he'd gone through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak, and I never pressed him but it soon became clear he had no one else in this world. I could immediately tell that despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. Yeah. That's not good looking at a young kid who's been horribly traumatized and just trying to suck them for create like you know suck all the life out of them and, and mine them for the sake of your own creativity and they're special because they've been traumatized more than most kids like what the fuck maybe uh don't exploit them and help them instead there's a thought Horses. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lilian, I, I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends. Oh, so that's Lily's full name, Lillianne. <laughs> Lillianne, Marianne. Gee, I wonder if there's a connection. I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depth of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter and that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy rather than artistic expression. Eventually, I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university, but on the condition that it would be his chosen field, and so he started on his way to becoming an architect. At first I was rather skeptical, thinking that he was throwing away greatness for mere competence, but deep inside, I guess I was glad to be the only, the only one to bring his visions to life. And then he met her. Our painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with his inner demons. This mentor had a very fucked up relationship with this kid. I was glad to be the only one to bring his visions to life? What the hell? I need to go through here. Mm. 
the equator. Am I supposed to do something there? Because it doesn't seem like I can. Huh. And I can't go in there. Oh, the rest of the music. Ah, oh, no, we have one more piece. Oh, this place is packed with memories. Bad ones. Guilt. Humiliation. Rage. It became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking, describing all the things he saw in his mind's eye, the horror and splendor of worlds beyond our own. What started out as an innocent exercise in imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress. But finally, I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty, rather than madness. Oh, this needs... The equator. How does this work? I don't really understand how these are moving. But I'm sure the eyes are supposed to be at the top, <laughs> so... Um... No. Also, no... What? I don't understand. Well, the eyes are at the top now. Oh, okay. I do not understand how those moved. Another junction. Maybe it can show me a way out of here. Oh, cool. I love that the junctions are unique things each time. The first one was time, and this one is space. I love that it's unique each time. Spark's too weak to absorb. Mm -hmm. It's like it's missing something. I guess I need the music for that. Uh, 
I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. Uh, at least the good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lady. You know that, don't you? You're special. Her voice, is that sadness? So sadness is our sister then, Lillianne? You know, this reminds me of one of the Silent Hill games. There was a Silent Hill game where you had to cut through flesh flaps, although it didn't look anywhere near as cool as this. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Was it Silent Hill Homecoming? I think it might have been Homecoming. Aha. Uh -huh. Teacher's room key. So now we can get in here in the normal world. Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So, he brought him here. Hmm. Wonder who he meant by them. Should be all the pieces of the score now. Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous. I no longer had him all for myself. In time, I warmed up to her as well. She was striking, both in her beauty and intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he has found true happiness true love. Strong and pure. Well, as pure as it can be, I guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. When the project came along, the one that would eventually be known as Neva, I pulled all my strings to get him what he wanted. Even though I knew it would drive an even bigger wedge between us, I wanted the best for him. He was the closest to a son that I'd ever had. That's how you found him? Yes. He was just lying there. He, uh... Mr. Eckridge. I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just... need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he... deserved it.
Oh no, what are those hands? Is that Richard? I was finished. They had to let me go. Me, Richard Tarkovsky, whose work were recognized across the continent, whose imagination, as they said, knew no bounds, whose very name became synonymous with fine art. All of that meant nothing to these soulless bureaucrats. To them, I was just a liability, the source of dangerous liberal ideas. I felt betrayed, empty. I needed to get out, away from the hollow sickness of the city. But most of all, I needed a friend. And so I sought him out. I knew his wife had died some months earlier. At the time, I thought it best to not interfere with his grieving. And so now, I feared that he'd hold it against me for not being there when he needed me the most. Instead, he offered me a home. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult lives. Richard. I'm getting a weird vibe from him. There's grief, sorrow, and something else. Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here, I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, what was that? It's like something stirred inside it. inside him I'm a little bit worried about what direction that's gonna go what they mean by that It feels cold. What have you done? Never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. Thank you. 
losers. God fucking damn it! Thought I could protect her. Idiot! What would you think of me? I failed you. I failed us. It's all falling apart. What? Yes, I know. No, I need to be sure. There's gotta be something around here. You want what? Fuck! Finally decided to let me out of my cage. And only when you need my help. Surprise. Surprise. Okay, you know what? I'm not in the mood. Just tell me what you see. Come on. Come on. Yes. I can feel it. Okay. It's around here. Somewhere. Oh, well, that's real fucking specific. Hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Well, screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? What? What? You building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Would you shut up? He's obsessed. What is he? What have I done? We couldn't have known. I let him into my home. He was like a father to me. Could he do this to her? Fucking bastard! Who could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back? Oh, just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, tiger. Remember what's at stake here. 
Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. Thomas, I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? I... I don't... I found the sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Tell me you didn't hurt her, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me, Thomas. You have to understand. There's a sting inside of me. Shut up. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. You have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. Uh, 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 no one uh, should here. Knowing uh, what she means to me. Uh, Thomas, I, I swear, I'll go away. You'll never... Wait, but you... No, let me out. Let me out. Let me in. Richard, this is your world. Show me what you're hiding. There's, um, hmm. A lot just happened. There's a lot to talk about. Uh, I want to see how this plays out a bit more before I do, though. Just something about Spirit Thomas that I find really weird is why is Spirit Thomas so... douchey? There's so much douchier than their non-spirit version. That's nothing. That's so different from Marianne's spirit version, who's you know exactly the same as her normal version. Why are these versions so different from each other? But yeah, lots to talk about. But let's give it a little bit of time. I want to see how this plays out. Is this where it started, Richard? The place that broke you made you what you are right button just before the hit to counterattack oh there's actual combat ah! 
Oh, didn't time that right. Can I just leave this up? Yeah. Ah! questioning whether this is a literal or metaphorical demon. Richard forever. No! What the hell? Leave her alone! In the... This is it. Richard's big, ugly secret. The sum of all his demons. I think they're going for metaphorical. I, I think we're going to see that Richard was abused as a kid. And or their sister was, maybe. father's knife. Richard, your father forgot his knife. You'd better go and bring it to him. Father, you forgot your knife. Oh, thank you, Richard. You know what? Why don't you keep it? But it's your lucky knife. And now it's yours. You'll need it. I'm leaving tomorrow. What? No! But where are you going? The army is heading out west. And I'll be going with them. But... No! I don't want you to go! to go either son but sometimes what we want isn't what's important do you understand i when will you come back take care of your mother richard you're the man of the house now Guarding something. I need to get rid of them. Need energy to spirit blast them, I think. By the sweat of your brow. You shall rise. to the earth from which you came. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. Hmm. 
Mm, I wish to offer my deepest sympathy and regret in regards to the passing of Lieutenant Thaddeus Tarkovsky. He whose loss you mourn died of the noblest of causes. His country would be forever grateful for the sacrifice he made protecting our freedom and independence. Minister of Military Affairs. Grief. Anger. I can work with that. I love how those particles look. Uh, okay then. It feels weird to be talking about graphical things when we're going through a moment that has to do with child abuse and just lots of horrible things. But you know, just like Marianne making a joke, gotta do what I gotta do. And by that, I mean not let it get to me too much. Bet you can't catch me. What? Hey, wait up! Come on, Richard. My arms are getting tired. Almost done. That echoed exactly what Lillian said later on at the Neva Resort when Richard was older. Come on, Slowpoke. Here, I'll try to bring more tomorrow. Thank you, Richard. I can't tell you how much this means to me. But what is it? It's um, something very important. Promise me you'll keep it safe. Way silly. Rose? Rose! <laughs> Over here! There you are! I was afraid you'd get lost in here. Me? I've been waiting here for ages. I was starting to get bored waiting for you. Real cute. So, where do we go from here? Mom! Who is he? He's... He's someone who can take care of us. But I can take care of you. I promised Dad I'd protect you. I know, honey. And he would be so proud of you. But sometimes, a brave heart is just not enough. I need you to do something for me. 
So it was the stepfather. I need you to bring me that thing. You know which one. Yeah, real specific. Oh. This is a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Pardon me if I maybe don't talk that much and just kind of get through it. Taking so long. Oh, what? You want a bedtime story? I'm not your goddamn mother. Oh, we have to choose one object, I guess. Do they want their fucking pipe? Then again, this looks like a chair where we're supposed to receive our punishment, so they probably want a belt. Don't make me get up, boy. Although there's already a belt there. I'll smoke when I feel like All right. Charmer, that one. Yeah. Hold on. There's something on the table. I don't think it's either of those. Is it? Fucking... I don't know, do you want... the fucking empty bottle? What the hell's taking... Oh, you little shit. Yeah, I just skipped that dialogue. I'm good. Oh, pressing the wrong button. you do to me? <laughs> Save that, or I'll cut you again. Ungrateful little fuck. Get the hell away from me. Gladly. again, but not at the same time. Richard! I should be going. I'm sorry. It's all right, Rose. We can finish some other time. Richard, where are you? Hello? Richard, come out!
Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. I'll keep you safe. Okay, Richard. I get the picture. It doesn't change a goddamn thing. That's what I'm thinking, too. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna be, oh, boo-hoo. That, what, makes it okay or justifies it or excuses it or something? Uh, no, not in the slightest. What's going on? Shh, shh, listen to me, Richard. Listen to my every word. Some men will come to our house tonight. But why? What do they want? Shh, it's okay. I told them to come. The hell is this? No! Stay away from me! Stay back! Get away from me, you bastards! No! No! Let go of me! No, please don't! Any son of Poland who collaborates with the oppressor. Who steals from, denounces, or otherwise acts against his compatriots. First house on the left, right next to the river, with the old cherry tree in front. They're hiding them in the pantry under the floorboards. They let them out sometimes to stretch out, usually later in the day. Some of them even go out sometimes, probably looking for food. Best to come at night. It's an unforgivable crime against the motherland. Oh, swiftly punished. Shouldn't have happened to a nicer guy.
Take a moment to catch your breath. Do I know you, mister? Are you one of my stepfather's friends? No, kid. I'm not planning on making any friends here. I'm here just for you. Don't, what? No! Don't come any closer! Don't touch me! Sorry, kid. I know you tried to run, to hide. Get your hands off me! But as long as you're here, the beast will always find you. Richard. It was pretty overwhelming at first. Thomas being like me, but different somehow. 
I guess I don't have to tell you. <gasps> suffered because of you? The, the one you preyed upon? She came to me because she had nowhere else to go. Where was her father then? Where were you? Oh, shut up! Stop acting like you ever cared about her! She was the light of my life. The warmth of my soul. Your soul has brought it away. There's barely anything left. No, it's just your sins. I almost feel sorry for you. You're nothing. I am, but I, you ripped me apart. You burned me down and left me in the dark. He's a fiend, a monster. Thomas, what is he? He's the one who butchers the soul, the one who breaks it. But you, yes, I know you, you can set me free. I can feel it. Please, do it. You don't deserve it. You deserve nothing. Nothing. Do you hear me? Then give it to me. Please. Do not exist. That's all I want. So be it. Do you think she'll ever forgive me? Will you? I'm not your judge. I'm just the fairy man. Be gone. Richard. It wasn't just a feeling, it was a memory. Had I been here before? Was I a part of the puzzle? This man, Thomas, was he a part of my own past? And then, something clicked. That girl, it's me. But it looks like it was taken here, at Neva. The red house. 
Whatever it is, I can feel it out there. Like it's calling out to me. There. In the woods. Well, that was a lot, like a metric fuck ton a lot. I've been playing this game for almost four hours now without stopping. I think I just, I'm just going to take a break. We, we can talk about it when I get back next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far and I'll be back soon.